I'm here today at the home of Football West Club's Sterling Lions who play in the PS4 MPL competition in Perth for a story of redemption. More on that in a moment, but it's part of our eight part series called Ones to Watch, highlighting some of the young talent that's coming through the setup of the PS4 MPL competitions around Australia. It all culminates at the end of September when we'll crown a winner of the PS4 Player Pathway Award after a two day camp there. Well, this guy will be under strong consideration. We've seen him at A-League level before, however, he is eligible because he hasn't been part of an A-League club for a couple of years. T-Boy Kamara, he made his debut aged 15, but that's not the remarkable thing about his story. He's a refugee from Liberia, and since he's made his debut, he's had a really, really serious illness. He's bouncing back though. This is why T-Boy Kamara is one to watch. so much to your story. There's so many different parts to your story. I mean, it starts when you leave Liberia, when you didn't even know what was going on really, did you? You, you come to Australia. How was that adapting? Or because you were so young, you, you just got on with it? You didn't really yeah. Know. As for me, I haven't really uh, you know, felt it because I came here so young and all my life I always wanted to play AFL. So it's quite strange that I actually playing soccer, you know, my favourite sport was AFL cricket and then soccer, you know, and so moving down here at a young age, I, I haven't felt so much to say, yeah, I went through so much pain back then because I was so young, you know. What about Adelaide and getting into football and, and progressing in football? What did football give you when you were when you were growing up? Adelaide's probably, you know, the reason why I'm playing football now and now, you know, moving from leaving AAS because my mum passed away was the main reason I cut my short, um, my time at AI is pretty short, you know, I decided to come closer to my brother and sister. Tell us about the debut for Adelaide United. I mean, 15 years of age and you're playing A-League? It was amazing. I was at Black Friars at that time, back in Adelaide. It was the best feeling ever, you know, the boys got, you know, came around me, supported me. I didn't even know I was going to play until the day, you know, of the game. Just called me and said, you know what, you've worked hard and you deserve to be there. You only played a couple of games at Adelaide. What what happened with United? The, uh, the youth team was meant to travel to go to Asia and then I think they did some blood tests the day just before we were about to go. It basically saved my life, I'll be, I'll be honest. So he checked my liver as well. It's not, you know, it's, it's not too usual. But I didn't even know what it was still until what, about two years later and then I actually called the doctor and he told me it's curable. Like I was always going to be back but just the amount of time when I was going to be back. Did you think football over, gone? At some stage, now and then I said, oh, you know, well, just the training, and when I go watch the boys running, sweating, I'm like, oh my god, like, I need to start all over again, you know, I'm pretty not fit, so, so I've come in Perth where, you know, I've, the first year I was a bit sick, and then I've got to adapt to it, this year has proven that I'm still good enough to be at a high level, but I just need the right people around me, like what I did in Adelaide. So between making your debut for Adelaide United in the A-League and now, do you feel like you're a better player now, or you still got a way to go to get back to where you were when you were making your A-League debut? But I still think I'm not near my full potential. I still think I've got a long way, but my biggest problem is probably off field where I need to switch on. Yeah, but I still think I've got a long way to go improve, man. Tell us about the decision. Why did you move to Perth and, and get out of Adelaide? Well, I just thought the environment I was living in Adelaide was pretty tough, so I decided, you know what, let me start all over again, start fresh, and just injury, clear my mind, and leave family not to be so close to and slack off a bit. So when I move by myself, I think I would have focused and be more determined to switch on and go far. But how does an initiative like the PS4 Player Pathway Award, and throw in the FFA Cup as well, uh, strengthen the ties between the level of a club like Sterling Lions and the A-League? I mean, you know better than most, you've played at both. It, it, it's getting closer, the gap, do you think? Yeah, I think it's getting closer because to actually meet one of the A-League clubs is you know, a great opportunity, you know. Perth, Italia or Sorrento, when they played Sydney FC last year, you know, they worked pretty hard, but at the end of the day, the experience probably kicked in though, so I think it's definitely getting closer and closer every year. And so that second chance does come true with this PS4 Player Pathway Award. You win it. Have you allowed yourself to think about something like that yet? Yeah, I have thought about it to go to Sydney. It's a great place to live and but I'll be really up for it though. I'm always up for anything at any time. So you should be as a footballer though. And a young kid that's determined to go far, you should be pretty excited to take anything that comes your way. 
say one day you turn on the computer. It might have already happened, yeah. actually. It yeah. has happened. You were in, in FIFA 11, were you? Or? Uh, I think 13 or 12, 13. Did you turn it on and go, oh, well, I'm T-Boy and I want to play with T-Boy in my team? Did well, you do I that? support, yeah, I support me, you know, I just, uh, I've turned it on bench Rooney for me, so yeah, <laughs> I always do that. So to be honest, I still think I have FIFA 13 every now and then I switch it on to go play myself. Yeah. You want those days back again, so FIFA, yeah. FIFA 17, FIFA 18, FIFA 19 or something? Back yeah, it would, yeah, it would be pretty amazing. Yeah.